Hey guys and girls and welcome to a new video on my channel. So far we've already talked about augmented reality on this channel and we're going to continue with the trend of new technologies and today we're going to explore surveillance, facial recognition technology to be exact. Facial recognition is simply when a software analyzes a person's unique facial makeup to determine their identity. This type of technology has become very common in today's newly released smartphones as facial recognition offers a more efficient and secure alternative to the common passcode. Other places it can be found is some banks and also nightclubs and bars when it matches the ID to the person using it. Although facial recognition offers some obvious positives for security reasons, it does pose some ethical problems when it comes to surveillance. As this technology has been growing so quickly, the rules and guidelines that oversee it are unable to keep up, even for authorities. This is partly due to the little to no privacy laws in public spaces, but is also because of the considerable divide in the views. These boil down to two main beliefs. One, that people think it's an invasion of privacy, and two, people believe if you've done nothing wrong then you have nothing to worry about. This technology has been implemented in America over recent times. They have developed a database of facial images to help identify their citizens from what was originally police mugshots but has now moved to driver's license photos. And with 117 million people in the system, that means one in every two Americans can be detected using this software. From this, some issues in grey areas have arisen from the technology. Andrew Ferguson states that there is a problem with the facial recognition algorithm as there have been many cases of inaccuracies when it comes to identifying people of African American skin colour. When put to the test, the system wasn't able to identify people with darker skin tones twice as often as it wasn't able to identify those with Caucasian skin tones. This raises the question of how accurate is this technology and as with there already being a lot of backlash about it, I doubt it's winning many people over. Other issues with this technology center around hats and other head garments that obstruct the person's face, making facial recognition quite useless. And with a bit of logic, this isn't a surprise to anyone. But there are even inaccuracies when it comes to detecting women due to their long hair. In America, this technology was implemented to help authorities detect terrorism or people of interest. But after a lot of debate, San Francisco has decided to ban the agency use of facial recognition. This makes them the first state in America and one of the first places from around the world to block the use of this technology. The reasoning for this is because of the accuracy issues surrounding it being racially biased. This is also due to unease about potential abuse from authorities. However, law enforcement representatives who oppose this decision feel it's a step backwards for public safety. This is because it leaves surveillance to people and not machines, which can be very tedious and non-efficient, especially when dealing with large crowds of people. Although facial recognition has already been rolled out in America and many other places around the world, here in Australia, it has flown under the radar quite a bit. I personally haven't heard about it much in the news or anywhere else. Having said this, it hasn't stopped state and federal governments from making significant moves to introduce it throughout Australia. Much like America, Australian authorities are developing a database derived of driver's license images that are going to be used to help identify a person. Facial recognition is still in a testing period and is trialling the software on sports fans and concert goers in stadiums all around Australia. I feel that the fact this is happening, while the public that attend these events have very little knowledge that this type of surveillance is happening, is a bit collusive and sneaky. Stadiums Queensland that oversee nine venues in Queensland have responded to some of the criticism from the public about this. They stated that this facial recognition technology is only being used to identify patterns and anomalies in crowd behaviour. They also said that customers and spectators to these events are agreeing to be filmed by facial recognition which come under the terms and conditions of CCTV. This technology was part of the Queensland government's $8.3 million security upgrade to its sporting venues. This seems to be quite an expensive trial run of this facial recognition technology. So it's very obvious that facial recognition technology is a very controversial way of public surveillance and I'm not really sure what side of the fence I sit. I'm definitely leaning more towards it being an invasion of privacy but I can also see the positives of it too. From my point of view, it would heavily assist authorities in identifying suspects or people of interest out of crowds and could probably go a long way in preventing crimes. Although this could help the police, 
My main concern with this technology, and I'm sure other people hold the same opinion as I do, is that facial recognition could easily be overused, thus causing a reduction in privacy. The feeling of always being watched is quite common in today's surveillance society, with CCTV being heavily present in most public spaces. But facial recognition everywhere does seem a bit overboard. In order for authorities that want to utilize this technology and the public to be on the same page, the unexplained and obscure details need to be explained. Will it just be at events and sporting venues or will it be rolled out across general society? For me, the main problem here isn't the actual technology, it's the large amount of unknowns surrounding it. Once these questions are answered, I feel like the public will be more willing to trust it and be more willing to accept it through the community. Thanks again for watching. I hope this has at least got your brain ticking about whether you support facial recognition technology or just think it should get in the bin. Feel free to let me know down in the comments or on the socials at Barnby Zach on Twitter or Barnby's Corner on WordPress. Both will be linked in the description. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.